Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. We should be, this should be the final level for the main game. Peach dash, Peach's Castle dash Castle. We're about to find out. And I'm in a squirrel suit. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the one that has, um... Oh yeah, it's one of them things. Oh, how I hate these things. I mean, I don't mind them. They're just ner kind of nerve-wracking. That was close. Oh crap, Bob bombs. How I hate Bob bombs. That was close. That was a close one. Yeah, um, turns out when I did my original New Super Mario Brothers Let's Play, um, like, I think it was New Super Mario Brothers Wii, which kinda got shut down by Nintendo, which they've come to their senses since then. At least I'm pretty sure they have. Oh, thank God, there's the door. Well, all right then. Oh, yeah, Mario time. What? I actually cleared that without taking damage. That's actually kind of awesome. Okay, here's the final level. I was wrong. What? That was basically the vertical castle of this game, of this of this state, this world, and this is the horizontal castle, which see the final battle. Oh my god, that was close. I actually took damage. The fact that I didn't just get reverted back to small Mario. Never mind. Okay, screw it. I'm done. At least we get a um, midpoint right there.
All right. That's just too easy. Oh dear God, what now? If you don't look, if you look not very closely, you can see Peach. She sounds so slutty. <laughs> of course, because it only takes minutes to put in a stone door with baby Bowser's Bowser's uh, Nintendo logic. Dear God. Oh, I should have ducked. Boom! Oh dear god, that was close. So yeah, this is the final battle with Bowser. It's a pretty neat final battle, you gotta admit. The concept of it is pretty neat. The whole using the clown copter to get myself killed. Oh, Nita, that was a, something that actually helped. And I have no items. We will finish this game this episode, viewers. And then I will do a let's look at New Super Luigi U. I do like the fact that there's a hidden mushroom right there. That's pretty cool. But unfortunately, that means we got to go through this again. Oh, damn, you can't, uh... Yeah, I might as well have just killed myself, I mean... That's nah, not stupid hard, it's just little difficult. I just made a couple of mistakes. A raccoon suit would be good for this fight. Wow, that was so easy to freaking dodge. I was that say, please do your mega jump.
Oh! It automatically cuts us up to up there. That's awesome. That's actually pretty cool that it doesn't make us go through all that sequencing again. You know, Kamek reviving them. Oh, and he goes down. I was about to say, please jump. I don't need to lose my power up. Oh, and I got caught on the wrong side. Whoa, that was too close. Oh, I actually got caught on the right, correct side this time. Yeah, yeah, I messed up. And he's down. Even though I kept getting knocked out of the damn clown copter, he's down for the count. Sploosh! Sploosh! <laughs> oh my goodness. I finally beat him. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell that was. Yeah, kissed his hat. <laughs> oh, they're all hanging on to the clown copter. That's funny. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was, this has been New Super Mario Brothers U. It's a fun game. I mean, I wish they would go back. Technically, they did. They went back to their Super Mario Brothers 3 roots with the new with the new Super Mario Brothers games. You know, with the map screen and all that. Um. Let's see what else is there. As you know, they've recently released um, new, uh, Super Mario 3D World in uh, like last week, actually. At least I think it was last week. All this is is pretty much a coin grab credits, like like it was in the last in the new Super Mario Bros. Wii. Oh, there's even a Gloshi over here. Would have been nice to have had my uh, raccoon suit during all this. Yes, it's the friggin' toads. Now, I will be showing off New Super Luigi. You will be showing off anything special about the after game. You'll see what the special thing is after the credits run. Oh, there goes Nabbit. Yeah, like I said, it, just like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, this is just pretty much a big-ass coin grab to make the credits a little more interesting, I guess. There's not much to say about this game. It's a Mario game. It's a it's a t it's a uh, game style. It's old as pretty much. It's as old as say 1986, I believe. But really, the side-scrolling platformer is a game style that's as old as gaming itself. I mean, look at the Atari 2600. A lot of them games were side-scrolling platformers. Look at, uh... Ah, uh, can't think of anything older than that besides the Vectrex, which was basically just an arc a wireframe arcade machine. I don't know why I'm getting so hooked into this coin grab, but... Anyways, this has been New Super Mario Bros. U. A fairly fun game. They added a few new concepts to it with the uh, squirrel suit. Kind of wish they would have had the propeller caps in this one. Well, I think that was... The propeller caps are in Super Luigi U. I've actually yet to see a... Well, no, I take it back. I've used the uh, squirrel suit in Super Luigi U. Um, let's see what else is there. Cause I'm done. I'm done grabbing coins. Let's see. They didn't really add m too too much to the um. Alrighty then. Nah, another time. And we're back at the beginning. Okay, what's new? That is the stat house. And that is... A star... It's a portal to the end. Like in Minecraft. No, it's just Superstar Road. Yeah. And now we can actually save our game from the main menu. Let me grab this right quick and we'll check actually check out Superstar Road right quick. So I can just pretty much end the game off on a happy note. Okay, we'll check out Stat Island too. Let's go. 
Yeah, well, technically it's called a secret island, but it's basically an island. This is all that's in here. It's your stats. What the hell? Hmm. I didn't know there were three up moons in here or boost blocks. I thought that was only present in Super Mario World. Which I suppose the new Super Mario games tend to take a lot from the Super Mario World. Not a lot, but a good bit actually. And unfortunately we do not have enough we don't have enough uh, star coins to unlock everything. Wish we did. We've got enough to do one level, which is called Spine Tingly Spine Coaster. Which we'll actually check out right quick. Seems a little happy to be a... Uh-huh. And look at that. Fuzzies are back. Whoa, can't be doing all that now. Okay, I have to admit, that's pretty cool. Okay, this is actually pretty neat. I say, grab the fire flower, dang it. Oh, I missed the star. Oh, well. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, it's actually a lot more difficult than I originally thought it would be. Cool. And I died. Okay, we're gonna beat this before this episode ends. We may be at 23 minutes, but we are going to beat this, at least this one. I know Raccoon Suit is probably not the best thing for this. Okay, can't duck. Okay, now come on. Alrighty. Huh. <laughs> uh. I was actually about to say screw that star coin because I had forgotten that, um. I've forgotten that it, uh, just comes up. I hate fuzzies, I really do. Especially when they come from off screen. Okay, I'm done. I just wanted to touch base on Superstar Road. This is basically the area you go, you can go to. It's basically World 9 in Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, 
basically if you find all the star coins in each world, each of those levels will be unlocked and you can go to any of them that you want to. There is like the uh, Star Road in uh, Super Mario World. It had like that big ass special written on the wall. Some guy went as far to put a fuck you on there. I don't know why he did that, but okay. Thank you for watching New Super Mario Bros. U. In the next episode will be a bonus episode showcasing New Super Luigi U. I will not be doing a Let's Play of that. That game is freaking hard. Um, but thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. I will see y'all in the next Let's Play.